In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a second way, a simple method of creating vaults very quickly in Rhino. So um, we're going to go ahead and go to the front view or right view and use the curve command. And then I'll just draw my outline for the shape. One thing to keep in mind, if you don't want a curved line, you can actually just rebuild. So I'm going to type in rebuild. And then you'll see that um, a little pop-up uh, arises and you can change the point count but more importantly you can change the curve type so you can see a one degree curve is just a straight line curve so if you increase that it becomes a little more curved and so on um, this is the original curve four and three this would be the new curve on the right here so if I went to three and one you could see it's just one very simple arch so I'll go ahead and try that now um, and say okay you see it changes the line to do that I'm then going, going to mirror this curve. So I'm going to type in mirror and I want to select the mirror plane. So I want to mirror it along this axis of symmetry. So I'll select the top point, hold down shift so I can get a straight orthographic line and then it go, it actually mirrors that um, along that axis. So when you're done you then want to join these two lines because right now they're separate lines. If we go to pers perspective view we can see it a little better. So I want to make sure these two edges or lines are joined. So I'm going to select them both, type in join, enter and now they're one object. So the next command is extrude. So earlier I showed you revolve, but in this case we want to actually extrude, and we want to make sure extrude curve is selected, not extrude surface. And then you can then extrude the curve in either direction. You can also change the direction if you select this or type in D, but for now I'm just going to extrude this visually. Um, and then there's a few things you can do here. I think we'll just rotate this you could copy, move, and rotate, but in this case it's a lot easier if we just go ahead and rotate. So I'll type in rotate. You want to select a center of rotation. I'm just going to rotate along this edge here. So I'll select the first point and then the second point. Um, oh, sorry, one thing I forgot to do is type in copy. So if you just select this, it'll actually make a copy of the geometry. I'm then going to hold down shift and hit enter, and now I have my, my copied form. So now what I'll do is move this over. So I want to move this point here so it's aligned with that point. And actually, I probably, I can just delete these. I probably want it to actually be a little bit over. But I think for this example, it's OK if I just do it this way. So you can either array these forms or you can copy them. Let's see what happens if we just type in trim. Or actually, let's type in split. Select our first object, enter. Select our second object, enter. And you'll see it'll actually cut that surface out uh, on the front and the back. I want to do the same thing on this side, so I'm going to type in split. Select. I want to. I want to. Oops. I want to split this object, and I want to select this cutting object. Enter, and now I can delete that surface. And I'll do the same thing for this side. So I want to split this object, and I'm just right-clicking at this point, which brings back the last command. Select your cutting object. Enter and then we can delete this. So now we have the beginning of our vault. Um, the next thing I can do, actually can delete these two, and now I want it to be uh, perfectly symmetrical, so I can just actually mirror these along this plane, and see it's automatically making a copy. You can select that and it'll say no or yes, but I want to make a copy, and I want to copy it there. And so now I very quickly have a barrel vault. If I want to repeat this, I can just very easily array it or I can copy it. And in this case, I'll just copy it and I'll move it from one to the next. And let's make four copies in this direction. Then I'll select all these and do the same thing in the next direction. Copy. Oops. Let's try that one more time. And now I have a very fast uh, kind of barrel vaulted system here.